Did you know that Dollar Tree is having the biggest sale of the year? Yep, all day, air day, everything is a dollar. 25. I know, that was bad. Happy early April Fools. Today I'm sharing with you 33 weird but genius Dollar Tree hacks that you are going to want to know. Plus, you have a chance to win $300. Stay tuned. Grab your coffee because you're going to need it. We are having an adventure today on this shopping rendezvous and you're going to need a cart. Oh yes. Strap that coffee in so that you can save every last drop. Let's go. Starting off with number 33. You are going to treat yourself, honey. Head on over to the beauty section and you're gonna grab yourself one of these gel eye masks. I've never used one of these before, but if you look on the back, there were some very explicit instructions on how to use this gel mask properly. Who knew there was so much involved with using a gel eye mask? I'm going to pop it in my freezer, and I definitely kept it in my freezer longer than the direction said on the back of the package. So uh, here we are. It's looking real nice. We're definitely going to, we're going to give this a whirl here, and let's just, let's just see how this, how this works out. What do you guys think? This cute? All right, all right, definitely feels nice. You wanna get it underneath your eyes, you know, to reduce all the redness and the uh, the the puffiness, but um, ooh, I'm liking this. It's tingling a little bit. It is quite cold, that's true. All right, yes, we have a winner. We're starting off with a Dollar Tree winner. All right, video's done. I'm just gonna go ahead and ice my face for the rest of the day. Just kidding, we got number 32. For this one, you're gonna head to the organization section and you're gonna see this little desk organizer, the marble color, and there's a couple compartments where you can put different things. It's pretty shallow, so I don't know what you're gonna keep in these trays, maybe some paper clips, maybe a notepad, but I have an even better alternative for you. I'm very excited about this one, by the way. I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back. My husband and I, once a week, we implement an at-home sushi night. I thought these were the perfect containers to organize your beautiful at-home sushi date night. You even have a little compartment for your soy sauce. Put your chopsticks on there. I do get my chopsticks on Amazon because I oftentimes forget to get them at the grocery store. I'll link them below in case you're interested. And I don't eat the ginger or the green stuff when it comes to the sushi, but I just put it there for decorations. But what you could put there is a little sake bomb. Again, I don't drink sake bombs, but uh, if you wanted to, after a few sake bombs, you're going to be loving this. And it looks elegant and so Chic, who knew this was a dollar 25 and these these prices are gonna beat Amazon hands down number 31 I've never been to the frozen food section at Dollar Tree. I don't know why it just doesn't occur to me I'm too busy getting all the other random stuff in my house and figuring out cool things I can do with it But I headed over to the freezer section and I wanted to grab one of these pizzas I've never eaten a pizza this cheap before I thought to myself could it actually be tasty could it actually be good? I don't know unless I try but it did make me think about trying all of the Dollar Tree items I asked a lady at the checkout counter if these pizzas were any good. She said someone comes in every week to buy these pizzas. She recommended that I put it in the oven rather than microwave it. However, I wanted it quick and lickety split. All right, Celeste, let's see what you're made of. Authentic Italian since 1930. By the way, I don't even know if Celeste is a, a real human, but let's test out your pizza. I microwaved this baby for two minutes and 30 seconds. You can see the pizza right here. Pulled it out of my microwave. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I was not expecting anything good from this pizza. Now, I love all pizzas. All things pizza, jacks, cheap stuff, expensive stuff. And I did just have pizza last night for dinner. But this morning for breakfast, yes, at like 7.30, I had some of this pizza. And might I say, this was actually... Very tasty for a dollar twenty-five. This is probably better than a lot of the other pizzas, cheap pizzas that I have bought before. Nothing in here is sponsored, by the way. Dollar Tree is not paying me to say this, but I will be buying more of these dollar twenty-five pizzas. Mm -hmm. I gotta know in that comments box below. Has anybody else bought these frozen pizzas before, or any sort of uh, frozen items? Let us know what's good and tasty. In a number thirty spot, because you have been very naughty. You're gonna head over to your Dollar Tree, assuming yes, because everything here in this video is from the Dollar Tree but you're gonna go to the kitchen section and you're gonna grab yourself a spatula. Don't get the plastic one. It is definitely not gonna work for this little trick, but you're gonna wanna get this nice, durable metal one. You can see here I have the tucker to have nice, crisp lines when it comes to making my bed, and the tucker works great. It saves your manicure. Nothing gets snagged. I love it. I make my bed every single morning. It's the little thing that brings me a ton of joy, but you can also see here that this spatula works 
works decently well. I was surprised by it. And this tucker is like $25 on Amazon. Why not $1.25? But not just tucking things into your bed. I got some even better hacks for you when it comes to this baby. Want to crack some garlic? Yes, you could do it with this spatula. Give it a good hit on the head and your garlic will peel much easier. Got onion or garlic smell on your fingers. All you have to do is take something stainless steel, rub it all over the impacted area, and you are going to be so impressed. My friend, I did not believe this actually worked, but in fact, it does. Need to keep a door propped open for some reason. Maybe you're in a hotel room and you just happen to pack a spatula in your suitcase for whatever reason. Maybe the next trick I'm going to show you here. You want your door propped open? Well, this spatula does the trick. This works better than a rubber band if you've ever seen that trick before or tape. The spatula is nice and sturdy and that door is not locking. Or even better, let's say you're outside barbecuing, you're flipping your burgers and you see some hottie batati rolling by on their bicycle or walking by or jog it and you're like oh shoot I better check my teeth I gotta check my hair is my makeup on point this serves as a mirror heck why not just keep one of these in your purse I mean if you have a big purse you need to check your makeup you need to beat up on some people <laughs> just kidding in a number 29 spot I love all things pancakes and baking no I don't love baking but I do make chocolate chip banana muffins once a week with all my rotten bananas and why have I not had one of these stir pour bowls thingies. I'm not quite sure what you're going to call it, but I'm picking this up. It came in multiple colors. I can easily put all of my muffin ingredients in here, stir it on up in one container. Yes, if I only have to wash one item or a couple while I'm doing my bacon, I'm even happier. And look how nice this pours out of the spout. I'm loving it. And these chocolate chip banana muffins are delicious. Let me link the recipe for you in that description box below in case you are interested. A real quick shout out to Kathy Kosser. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Thank you so much for your super thanks and supporting this channel. I appreciate you immensely. Number 28. Sometimes Dollar Tree has some really beautiful things I don't know what to do with, but I want it for some reason. But I got really creative. Check out this beautiful silver tray. Not like I needed any more silver trays in my life, but I'm going to show you a really cool trick here in just a second of how we're going to use this in our home two ways. In a number 27 spot, because spring is on its way, check out these spring fling cupcakes iridescent. We got purple, we got a blue, we got a green. Again, I like making the cupcakes. Why do I keep saying cupcake? I don't make cupcakes. I make muffins. Anyway, I love getting my muffin liners from the Dollar Tree because depending upon the season, they have new cool ones. You can see here with these banana chocolate chip muffins, I was able to turn it up a notch on my creativity and chicness with my Dollar Tree items. And you can see now a beautiful way that I was able to display my muffins was on this silver tray. If you're just having someone over for brunch, maybe you just want to give it a little coffee on there. Oh, it just could be like a breakfast in bed sort of situation. You could put the muffin, a little coffee, a piece of toast. It's just so cute and pretty. Another way to use this silver tray is if you just wanted to have some flowers and a candle, easy to wipe off, easy to clean. It just takes everything up just another notch for only a Della 25. Speaking on muffins, now that I got that straight and not cupcakes, Dollar Tree does have a muffin slash cupcake carrier. This is great to store the muffins that I make once a week. There are muffin carriers such as this on Amazon, but they're going to run you over $20 or so. Now I will say with this muffin carrier, it's not the best quality. I mean, you can tell it's an a dollar, it's a dollar 25 uh, muffin carrier slash container, but it does what it absolutely needs to. It takes your muffins from point A to point B and I have my muffins stored in there from last night and I open it up and they're still good to go. In a number 25 spot, you're going to get yourself a magic eraser from the Dollar Tree because they will hold up better than the Scrub Buddy brand. Is that what it's called? Scrub Buddy? at the Dollar Tree. Now I did a little price comparison here because you know I want to save you money. You can get a 10 count of the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers on Amazon for $13.24. This equals out to a dollar thirty-two each. So there you go. Steal of a deal. A dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. There's a couple ways that we're going to use this magic eraser. I do like using it to clean my oven 
door. You can see here it picks up a lot of grease and grime and spilt on, well maybe you made a pizza and it exploded all over your oven. By the way, how does this stuff get all over your oven door? It just like, it's like a magnet. It attracts to it. If you find that the magic eraser does not get up all the spots in your oven, you're going to grab yourself some steel wool quad zero and go to town. This is my absolute favorite when it comes to getting anything up on your glass. You can also use these magic erasers on the interior of your car windshield. Sometimes, depending upon the products or oils that you put on your dashboard, they can start to accumulate on your windshield. So the magic eraser is a great way to do that. You may notice in my windshield here, it starts to kind of freeze up a little. It's because I live in the Midwest and it's freezing outside. So if you find that your windows are fogging up and they're streaky and they do not seem clean, try out this little Mr. Clean magic eraser hack. And at number 24 spot, are you ready to make your house smell delicious? I know some of you have an aversion when I call cleaning products delicious, but I truly feel like they're delicious. I would want to eat them, uh, but that's not happening. So that's just what comes to mind. So yes, this fresh linen one does smell delicious to me. Now it's very difficult to find the fresh linen carpet deodorizer at Target or at Walmart. I don't know if they do, they don't carry them anymore, but the Dollar Tree has some. Let's say you have a stinky garbage can, but you are not ready to take out that garbage because there is still room inside of the garbage can, but it's stinky. I mean, you don't even want to open that. Just sprinkle a little bit of this carpet deodorizer in there and it should help you survive the stink of your garbage before you're ready to take it out. I want to save the bags. I mean, I want that baby filled before I take that garbage up. I mean, it's got to be real rancid for me to take that garbage can out earlier before it's full. I don't know, anyone else relate to that? So you certainly can vacuum with this carpet deodorizer. That's fun. That's how I primarily plan to use it. However, this also works great in a stinky garbage disposal. Sprinkle a little bit in there, let it sit for a hot minute or five or ten, and then run some hot water and your garbage disposal, and the stink should be gone because of the baking soda and the beautiful fresh linen scent. People are going to come to your house and they're going to be like, are you, are you folding laundry? Are you doing your laundry in your kitchen sink? Now, if you do not like this alternative, I have a more all natural solution for you. I got this glass jar. Yes from the Dollar Tree, and you're gonna grab yourself some baking soda, fill it up. This essential oil, this apple flavor is also from the Dollar Tree. You can put a little bit of this in there. I also like to actually like this a little bit better than the essential oil. It doesn't clump as easily as a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. It's like Christmas on your carpeting. Mix it all together, sprinkle it on your carpet, let it sit for a hot minute or 10, 15, 20, and then go in and vacuum it up. In our number 23 spot, because again, obsessed with all things smells, fresh linen. Grab yourself one of these fresh linen gel container sort of things. And what you're going to do is you are going to tear open that top. Why are they going to make these things so difficult to get open? But not a problem. Just grab your nail clippers and go to town. Screw that cap back on. There's a couple places that you can use this in your home. I like putting it in the back of my car. That way it's not right in your face. You know, sometimes you put those vent clips in the front of your car and you're like blasted with the smell and it makes you want to vomit or gag. But no, put it in the back of your car. It's hidden. You certainly could get the little Christmas tree ones. But again, all things fresh linen. Like I wanted to, I want my whole life to smell and everything around me like it's fresh laundry every day. We also have this very stinky closet in the front of my house. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that baby right in there. Shoe smells no more. Also, if you're struggling with stinky shoes, a couple of products you can use Odo Ban. I love that one, but you can also just use some rubbing alcohol, spray it in the shoes, that will help. And then you've killed all the bacteria and now you put your fresh linen little sticky gel thing in there and mm, it smells good. Number 22, fresh linen. Don't worry, this is the last one, I promise you. Grab yourself a fresh linen candle. I love this candle. It is not too pungent. It is just a nice hint of laundry in your home, even though you may not be doing the laundry. Again, use that fingernail clipper to trim your wick to the perfect size. Sometimes it's difficult, depending upon the size of the candle, to get those scissors in there. Light that baby. I like using this electric lighter, but Dollar Tree does sell some amazing lighters that I also have in my kitchen arsenal. I'm obsessed with all things. Candles, coffee, you name it. In our number 21 spot, I've never really really bought hair products that I can think of from the Dollar Tree, but I did want to try this hair perfume. Look 
at this. This is great, especially if you do not want to wash your hair every single day. By the way, I do not wash my hair every single day, and I also thought this would be great for my daughter's hair. So I gave this a little test on my two and a half year old, and her hair smelled delicious and yummy other, other than daycare smell. Like it's like subway smell, you know, subway, you go to subway and you got that smell all over your clothes. Well, daycare's got its own smell too. No, nothing but daycare, but the smell, mm, but not anymore. Continuing with this at our number 20 spot, I found this other hair texturizer and it also had a lovely smell as well. I wanted to try this on my eight-year-old's hair. Her hair is fine, so I thought this would be a great way to add a little bit of volume to it, allow me to work with the hair a little bit easier, especially as I style it. It's one of those things that brings me joy in the morning. And I have to say, I loved both of these products. They smell great, it's fun, it just makes doing the hair a little bit more exciting. In our number 19 spot, bath things. Again, never bought them from the Dollar Tree, but I needed to try them out. I am an avid bather because, you know, I don't wash my hair every day, but I definitely like a good soak. The bath fizzer, when I took it out of the packaging, smelled quite strong. I have to say that. I was a little concerned, although I do love strong smells, but not necessarily in the bathtub, but it fizzed up very nicely. Now, I will say if you don't like strong smells, the smell did dissipate throughout my bath. So I would rebuy the bath fizzer. However, I like bubble baths a bit more. So I'm gonna link a couple of my favorite bubble baths in the description box below. But if you are team no bubbles, I want all the fizz, try out the Dollar Tree one. Number 18, let's get our feet in shape for spring fling, spring all the things. You want your heels looking real nice. You don't want it looking like a monster has crawled out the back of your shoe or your paint, the paint's chipping on the back. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't judging. My heels have looked like that before. So I've never had one of these sugar, foot scrubs. Now I have used the Dollar Tree foot scrubbers, non-sugar inspired. And I have to say, I love this little sugar foot file. It definitely brought my bath experience to a whole nother level of chic, luxurious. Like yes, every day, all day. Number 17, you know, some things at Dollar Tree are not good. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> okay, when it comes to pouches, I love all things pouches, but generally the ones at the Dollar Tree are real cheap and it's like, just be careful what you put in there. It's kind of like some other bins, but these zipper pouches, the zipper quality on them were much better than I had anticipated. So I needed to change out my makeup bag. It was looking real dirty and dingy in there. And yes, this is all the makeup that I own, all the brushes that I own. I'm very minimal when it comes to makeup and I didn't need this big of a bag to put the items in, but I am so pleased with my new Dollar 25 makeup bag. How about your feminine products? This is great for travel. This is great for in your gym bag, in your car. This is a great way to conceal whatever is in there. You could use it for a variety of things but I put it in here and then I was also able to clean up my cupboard and recycle a little cardboard and it looks so pretty and nice. Rather than opening the cupboard and being like, ba-bam, tampons and sanitary napkins. It's like you open your cupboard and you're like, ba-bam, cute bag. Here's a little bonus tip for you when it comes to securing your cords. Create a little loop and then you're gonna take the remaining of the cord and just wrap it around itself, wrap it around, wrap it around, and then take the end of your cord and go ahead and pull it through that little loop you just created. You can also go ahead and just pull the end of the cord if you want to make your loop just a little bit tighter. Now your cords are nice and secure and tidy. And at number 16 spot, I do need to remove my makeup every night, particularly the mascara. And I normally use the Neutrogena, but I wanted to try out these Dollar Tree ones. Again, we're trying all the things beauty. Why not do the makeup removers? Now I have to say the makeup removers were good. They did the job. I do prefer the Neutrogena ones. They slide a little bit more easily over your eyes. Now, the Dollar Tree ones are definitely cheaper than what you're going to find on Amazon or in Target. As far as the Dollar Tree ones go, they're better than the hotel ones. You know, sometimes you go to a hotel and they have the makeup removers and you put it over your eye and it's like sandpaper. No, it's not like that. I just prefer the Neutrogena, but the Dollar Tree ones are good as well. In a number 15 spot, I have no pets other than for children, but for all you pet owners, particularly dog owners, I found this really cool dog waste dispenser. 
with a flashlight. I mean, how clever is this? Your dog goes out in the nighttime and you want to be able to see the poo so that you can pick it up, but you have everything in one. You got the flashlight and you got the waste bags and you can do your thing. I don't know. Let us know in that comments box below if anyone has bought this product before, but I thought it was clever. And they even had some that had hand sanitizers attached to it. Yes. And at number 14 spot again, typically don't buy food from the Dollar Tree, but I think I might be doing my entire grocery haul from the Dollar Tree after this one. Boom Chicka Pop is one of my favorite snacks. With only 70 calories per serving, Dollar Tree was also carrying the white cheddar. Might I say that Dollar Tree has really upped their game when it comes to snacks? Now I know it depends on which Dollar Tree you're at because not all Dollar Trees are made equal and many of you have told me that, but just Boom Chicka Pop is uh, amazing. Oh, and this yummy container, mm-hmm. Oh gosh, going back to the last point, is actually from the Dollar Tree, and um, it's for housing pet treats, but now they house my treats. Let's just keep eating with this next one, shall we? Wallaby licorice. Again, thank you Dollar Tree for carrying some really yummy snacks. I bet this is a ploy from the Dollar Tree to keep you in their store longer. Do you ever go to the store and you are very hungry while you're shopping, so you open up the item and you're like, I'm thinking to myself, guys, I'm paying for this. I don't want anyone to think I'm trying to steal these items. I swear I'm going to pay for them at the checkout, but they, this is great. I mean, hey, before you know it, I bet Dollar Tree is going to have a coffee shop attached to it. In our number 12 spot, you're going to pick up an ice cube tray. We got two for one, so you get two ice cube trays for a dollar. 25 and no we're not going to use it for ice although i mean you certainly could but what i like to do with this ice cube tray is put my jewelry in it now i wouldn't leave this out to display my jewelry because it looks a little bit tacky i mean you certainly could it may raise some questions but it's great inside a drawer all i have to do in the morning is just open up my drawer and grab whatever gold necklace i feel like wearing that day because i need 50 gold necklaces that are essentially the same but now they're not getting tangled up and now it's like a, a pot of gold inside my drawer in our number 11 spot let's zhuzh it up a bit let's get it chic and spy like and real fancy even though we're using dollar 25 items but nobody needs to know grab some of these gold wire baskets. I'm going to grab two and then you're going to grab some of your hand towels or your washcloths and you're just going to roll them real nice. We're going to create a spa in your bathroom. This is great if you're hosting a party, great if you're having friends over, great if well you just want to have a super sanitary household. Roll these babies, put them in your gold bin and then you're going to grab one of these signs at the Dollar Tree. I got this a while back with a chalk marker and you can put anything on this sign i mean you get real clever but i'm just gonna put dirty right there and place this in your bathroom and then wash your hands up and then grab your nice clean towel to dry that we do use one towel in my bathroom for my whole family typically like a larger hand towel and then i wash it and put a new one in every day but this is a great idea as well and then you just put the dirty towels in the dirty towel bin in a number 10 spot sometimes you gotta be real leery of electronics at the Dollar Tree. We're going to talk about the shower. I saw this shower speaker and I was thinking, okay, it's cute. I like the idea. You can answer phone calls. And not that I want to do that. Stay tuned on that one. But um, you like, I, apparently you can live your life in the shower in the music and what a great reason to stay in the shower even longer. This is real easy to set up. All you have to do is charge it, then hold down that power button, put your phone on. You're going to go into your settings and then click Bluetooth and you can see here this is how it's showing up on my phone and then go ahead and connect it. Let's put this baby to the test, shall we? Three weird but genius Dollar Tree hacks that are life-changing and they are going to be Amazon Plus. I'm giving As you can see here, it actually works great as a shower speaker. Control the volume on your phone. There isn't a way to do it on the shower speaker, not that I saw it anyway, but be careful because depending upon what you suck it to, it may not stay up. So if you're like me, you can just stick it to the side of your bathtub and just have a party in your shower. Hello? Yes, I'm in the shower. Well, when you get out of the shower, would you please grab some guacamole 
and some tortillas and tacos from the store when you're out. Sure. Talk to you later. So rather than sushi tonight, I guess we're having Taco Tuesday. We're having a fiesta. In a number nine spot because I wanted to get a little crazy. Let's try out these Dollar Tree tire valve lights can be used on a car can be used on your bike i thought this would be a great idea in the summer for on your bike as you can see here i'm living in the land of the tundra so i wasn't able to demonstrate it for you but i am going to show you on my vehicle i went ahead and just screwed these babies in and let's see if it actually did the job i had to have my dad drive my vehicle back and forth so that i could videotape it and see if these things actually worked i was a little bit leery and by the way there were no instructions on the back of the packaging be careful when you pull these out of the packaging because oh man that was a whole situation uh, it did not work as you can see here so refrain from buying these tire valve lights okay if you buy something like this and you try to return it to the Dollar Tree I couldn't save the packaging because I had to like maul it in order to get them out of the package without breaking the lights so I brought the plastic baggie and I said hey and here's my receipt and I would like my five dollars back or exchange it for another five dollar item that probably won't work as well <laughs> Although the speaker did work and you're like ma'am you cannot exchange that you need the packaging with it And I said can I just run to the aisle and, and get a package for you so that you can scan the package It was like a whole to do to get five dollars back in my pocket So a couple tips for you if you've ever tried to exchange something from the Dollar Tree No matter how much you've mauled that packaging to get the product out Save all the pieces and, and bring it back into the Dollar Tree In a number eight spot something that looked a little bit better I wanted to zhuzh up my office a little bit more. I bought this tree a while back when I did a whole Amazon office makeover project, but you can see the tree is a little short and I wanted to raise it up, you know, add a little height next to my desk. So at the Dollar Tree, they had these, I believe this was $5, these planters. Now I'm not going to use this for planters because it doesn't have a drain hole in the bottom, but I thought this would be a great project within the home. I took that planter container and a paint can so that it could bring up some height. And then I placed my beautiful olive tree on top. I kept it in the woven basket to begin with. And then I just wrapped some white towels. You could put something else in there depending upon what you had. If you wanted some, what do they call like the green? green mulch stuff, uh, ah, the, the, my, the name is escaping me. And then I took it out of the woven basket and then just wrapped the towels around. I think I like this look better with the white planter container, but it looks so nice. I walk in there, I'm like, well, hello. In our number seven spot, because we love all things organizing around here, Dollar Tree has some really great white stackable bins. I love that these stacked on top of each other, but you could also hook them side by side. I'm not quite sure what I would put in here. I did not pull the trigger on buying these things. I needed to have a very specific reason in order to put them in my Dollar Tree shopping cart because this haul, this haul was a big one. So thank you, Kathy, for your super thanks because it allowed me to buy more Dollar Tree things. But if you're looking for storage items, I don't know, kids' toys, maybe you could prop them up and you could, you could, you could put something cool on there. But I love the fact that they interconnected. In our number six spot, I found this beautiful long storage container. It came in a couple colors. You can't really tell the colors, but I love the latching detail on both sides and it was a bit more elongated. There's a couple ways that we are going to use this Dollar Tree gem. You could use it to store all of your batteries. You can see I can put multiple sizes in this long storage container. They're nice and compact. Maybe you need to travel with batteries. You're going camping or you're, you're, you're doing something outdoorsy where you need battery life. You can put these in your drawer, especially if you don't want your kids getting into them. I have a two-year-old and she likes to open the cupboard and then put her little hands up in there. But now she has to like work to get the thing and then figure out how to open it and it's good. If you have a kids going to camp or maybe you yourself are going to the beach, this is great for your goggles and your sunscreen and your chapstick. Do you have an excess of cords? Yes, I'm sure we can all agree on that one. Again, you could use this for travel, but it houses so many of your electronics, watches, cords, chargers, all the things. Great for travel or it will just make your drawers look even more organized. You could put office supplies in here. You could put hair stuff in here. You could even use this again for travel with your toothpaste, your toothbrush, and your toothbrush timer. We bought these timers for my kids. They do not use them. I know. One can try, can't she? In our number five spot because spring is upon us and spring cleaning is on its way. Dollar Tree is really up their game on some storage solutions. So I saw this under the bed 
storage. I got very excited. I'm currently organizing a client's home, pretty much most rooms in her house. She has a very nice house. You know, you walk in the door like, this is very beautiful, but do not open a drawer, do not open a closet, and do not open a cupboard because you're like, whoa, what the, what just happened? So that's where I come in to show those spaces some love. We were able to fit 25 pairs of sandals in this under the bed storage container. You could also use this for sweaters. Basically anything, if you're transitioning for seasons or you just wanna hide some stuff, this is great. It has a handle on the side and it can hold quite a lot, but uh -uh, let's put the brakes on here. The one I got from the Dollar Tree has a rip in it. Now, I don't know if we did that or if it came like that, but sometimes you get what you pay for. So I wanted to do my client one better because this is a legit situation. We're tackling her closet. Mm -hmm. Subscribe if you're new to stay tuned for that one it's very exciting and fun so i headed over to walmart because walmart has some great storage solutions and lo and behold i found almost exactly the same product for about double the price give or take again i was able to put all of these shoes in this container and the quality from walmart was much better so i'm not going to throw away the dollar tree one i probably still will end up using it because i don't want to throw away and i can get creative with it but i'm going to link the walmart one in the description box below in case you're interested you know number four Four spots sticking with the theme of organizing you want to hide some stuff Dollar Tree currently has a 20 pocket shoe organizer this one is priced at five dollars but I've seen people put cleaning supplies in these I don't I don't know I don't love that idea it's like banging against the door maybe you got a secured to the door but it's great for shoes it's great for scarves it's great for little trinkets in a number three spot Dollar Tree has a 10 shelf hanger to help you save some space but again be a little bit leery when it comes to these Dollar Tree items and save all your packaging. This was in the $5 slash $3 section. So I guess technically the $1.25 items are a sale compared to the $3 and $5 items now. In a number two spot, this was a steal of a deal. I recently redid my entire closet. I bought the velvet hangers from Amazon, but at the Dollar Tree, they are selling them right now. I love that the top of the hanger twirls. That way you don't have to worry about which way you're putting the shirt on. You can just twirl to fit into your closet. You get, you get what I'm saying with that one? I should have a visual to demonstrate what I mean, but you get it. On Amazon, these hangers are 50 cents a piece. But if you buy this 15 piece at $5 from the Dollar Tree, you only are paying 33 cents per hanger. In that number one spot to save you a ton of money these woven baskets i love using these plastic ones with the handle because they actually hold up these ones are actually three dollars but if you go to target if you go to walmart these baskets can run you over ten dollars such a great way to contain a ton of items the client that i was talking about earlier i wanted to clean up her storage underneath her bathroom you can see right here from the picture on screen it needed some love there was actually two sides to this under the sink organization or lack thereof so i went to town i took this basket i put as many items in there as i could i wanted to see how to kind of organize and work with the items i also used it for towels i played around with it but this is a great way to organize organize the chaos. I ended up using one of the baskets for the hand towels, but I thought, okay, this is great for bins, but I really wanted to utilize the vertical space underneath this cabinet. So I went to Walmart. And if you go to the office supply section, yes, the office supply section, they have these very beautiful white bins. It looks like a bamboo top. It's not bamboo, uh, it's plastic, but I'm not gonna use this for the office. We're gonna use this for underneath my client's sink. I was able to get three of these beautiful baskets, put all the items in there, and then just stack them on top of each other, again, to maximize that space. I moved the linens from her closet into the bathroom, because again, we're trying to clear up space in that closet, and it looks so beautiful and chic, and she can grab her towel, and she can grab her washcloth, and then on the other side of the cabinet is the makeup she uses every day, and the hand towels that she uses every day. We have really maximized the space here on a budget. If you wanna see more of these organizing projects with some of the clients that I work with, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. This is like my nirvana, like the thing I could stay up until 2 a.m. doing because organizing is like Tetris. There's usually three variations, like this under the cabinet one that I showed you. It took me three variations to get it exactly how I wanted it. Let's talk about the giveaway. I'm currently running two giveaways where you can earn up to 300 
dollars. So if you are interested in entering any of those giveaways, click this video on screen now. I will also link them in the description box below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.